Hello Leo, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and it will be from the 29th of March to the 4th of April 2021. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy or message for the week. Message for our lovely Leos please, message for Leo for the week please, for the week. What do we have for Leo? Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> Pretty specific messages here, Leo. I've got number 36, study. Let my mind be clear and strong. Let me study well and long. You're studying something. And we have number 39, safe home. I cast this circle roundabout. Safety now is beyond doubt. Absolutely beautiful energies there, Leo. Uh, very specific messages there too. So let's um, let's pull an angel card. What do we have for Leo, please, angels? Message for Leo. Thank you. You're ready. <laughs> You're ready. You're ready. That's such a nice energy, Leo. It feels in this en it feels in this energy. You're just in the zone. You may have been doing some study or thinking about doing some study and the message is you're ready. Let's pull some cards and see what it's all about. Just move those over there slightly. So I'm going to pull three cards and then we'll clarify, go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, Leo, so just take what resonates with you. Okay, message for our lovely Leos, thank you. Message for Leo. I'm going to take the one that has turned, that has gone on the on the table. So we've got the King of Cups here, and that is in the challenge position. Card of Scorpio, Germany for me as a reader. We have the Eight of Swords. Four of Coins. Okay. Let's clarify, go deeper into the message please for Leo. 29th of March to the 4th of April 2021, thank you. What do we have for Leo, thank you. Ten of Cups. We've got the Hierophant here. Clarifying the Eight of Swords. And I have the Knight of Cups here, Leo, with the Four of Coins. Bottom of the deck, I have the Seven of Coins. Okay, just give me a moment. Let's clarify this King of Cups. Nine of Swords. I'm going to clarify this Knight of Cups as well. three cards here Leo one being yours so I have the lovers the tower and the strength card you're panicking there, there's definitely an energy of 
mental panic here. The, the sword's energy is to do with the mind, how we perceive something. Um, something's called, causing you a lot of inner turmoil. And it's to do with this King of Cups. King of Cups can offer love, romance, relationships, an opportunity. And we have the Ten of Cups, which is the blissful relationship, the happy ever after. Can be linked with marriage. Um, it's interesting because I had quite a similar reading for Sagittarius, though the cards aren't quite the same. It feels like somebody is is wanting to take the relationship to the next level. It feels to do with some kind of marriage proposal here. Marriage, um, yes, this can, this can be making a new level of commitment. However it resonates for you, whether it's starting a family, whether it's marriage proposal, it definitely feels for some of you that there is someone wants to there is an opportunity here, but it's causing you a lot of turmoil. Um, it's interesting because this nine, I mean, we have the blissful, the happy ever after card here in the Ten of Cups. And there is an energy here, Leo, of negative thinking. This Nine of Swords is a card of something causing you some inner turmoil because it's something to do with deep-seated fears that you might have experienced. Some kind of deep-seated fear that you have. You see, this person imagines monsters. You see the hand of the monsters because the mind is out of control. But this is our own inner psyche. It's, it's almost kind of like what you're being offered here. It's causing you some stress, some turmoil. And there's definitely some kind of block, mental block, to do with some kind of commitment. You know, the, the Hierophant can be a card of committed relationships or marriage. It is an institution energy. Um, there's definitely this energy, Leo. And you might be searching for answers here. Uh, there can also be an energy of searching for answers, trying to find the meaning, trying to find uh, the answer, the way forward, spiritual enlightenment, that kind of energy. But uh, this Eight of Swords is just, you're putting up barriers, mental barriers. I'm seeing barriers all over the place here. Again, this barrier energy, my boundaries, this is what I'm comfortable with and this is what I'm not comfortable with with the four of coins, you know? And because there is some kind of life-changing opportunity here, uh, very much it is a life-changing event. It feels for some of you that someone is wanting to either, it feels to do with some kind of marriage proposal or uh, next level commitment. It's causing you a lot of anxiety, inner turmoil. Uh, block, barrier, panic. Because the, we have the opportunity, this Knight of Cups is offering the, the harmonious relationship. But the lovers says that there is a choice that needs to be made here because it feels like somebody is offering you the next level love, commit, commitment, relationship here. Um, but it's pushing your comfort zone to the point where it's giving you a lot of stress. And there's some decision that's needed here. But there's definitely this life-changing event here, Leo. Uh, and it feels a, night, a good life-changing event. It feels like there is, you know, the tower is ultimately a tearing down of the old in order to herald and, you know, in order to align to where you need to be in order to build a new tower. You know, it feels in this energy that... There is some kind of 
opportunity here because it's clarifying this which is somebody making you an offer in love it feels to do with love romance relationship and there is a decision to be made with regard to this and it does require some kind of it is a life-changing moment it doesn't feel a negative thing but you absolutely need to get your head around a situation There is an energy here, Leo, of I'm definitely feeling in this situation something's causing you panic. Um, this is you. This is your energy. Uh, you're, you need to make some kind of decision, but it feels in, there's a lot of barrier energy here. And interestingly enough, that strength card is, is, is it's a card of mastery, facing your fears and overcoming it. But that's also your internal energy facing, you know, it can be a card of our thought process, pro thought processes, how we focus on the negative and how we need to overcome those negative thinking, negative thoughts and master them. And that is where that strength card applies, I'm feeling. It feels in this situation, this is about facing something. Because the seven of coins is about taking stock, evaluation. Clearly you've put a lot of effort and energy into this relationship. And I'm definitely getting this energy of there is some change that you're being offered here. And it's causing you panic, anxiety, stress. And with this study card, it is about study it consider it look at it there's definitely this energy of safe home something that you can trust um and a message definitely from the angels that you're ready but there's definitely an energy here of taking stock of something leo it feels like there's a lot of mental barriers to moving forward in this relationship and someone is asking you to make some kind of choice decision they want to take the relationship further, but it feels like you have certain barriers, certain mental blocks to doing that. And then there's, there needs to be some kind of evaluation. What's of value to me and what's not? How do I see this? Do I see, it's almost kind of like this, this seven of pentacles is taking a view of the long-term prospects of this. And if this is really what you want. Let's pull an advice card. Any other advice for Leo, please? Any other advice for Leo, please? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, a judgment call. You need to make a judgment call here. Oh my goodness, <laughs> to do with the Ten of Cups. I I'm definitely getting this energy of, of you're being asked to make some kind of decision here somebody wants to move a relationship to the next level it's caused you some turmoil and there are mental blocks to moving forward it could be dealing with things in the past that you haven't quite released here leo um a fear of history repeating itself you know it can be that kind of energy here but for what it's worth leo there's a message of take a close look at it because you need to study it because they're offering a safe home. It is a safe home. Um, it, it, when it feels beautiful, you know, the message is with this judgment energy, there's a powerful judgment call that needs to be made. When you make that decision or choice, it feels it's gonna stay with you for some time and the repercussions of that decision will stay with you for some time. Um, and it's generally a considerable amount of time. Sometimes it doesn't come around again with judgment. So it feels like some kind of pivotal point here in a relationship where someone is wanting to either take a relationship. It feels to do with marriage, commitment. Um, definitely in this energy. And you're wanting to take a... The message is look at it. Um, consider what's of value to you now. Consider if you see this being of value to you in terms of something that you want to put energy into the long-term view of, um, taking that stock of that decision, 
because this is a big decision. It's a big judgment call and it's to do with this Ten of Cups, which is the happy ever after card, the blissful relationship, real happiness, romance, but it can be a card of marriage, long-term commi committed relationship, family, you know, starting a family or, uh, you know, to, to, a, to a family, I mean, call it what you will. This is a call to action. Yeah. So, Leo, I mean, that is definitely the energy that I'm getting. The message from the universe is very positive. This is something safe that you can trust. Look at it closely, study it, uh, consider the long-term view and the long-term repercussions of a decision. But it feels in this situation there's some big judgment call that you need to make in a relationship. And why? You know, why? Why this is... Be what is the block? There's deep-seated fears here, and they stem from something. So what is the block that's causing this? Yeah. Okay. Because I feel once you understand that, then you'll be able to understand how you need to move forward. That is what your card is all about. You know, it's a card of, it is a card of facing your fears and overcome them. But wait, who designed the Rider Waite deck? Um, he called this the mastery of one's thoughts. You know, how we master and understand and overcome our own in internal thought process and how that can block and make us feel powerless or imp empowered. So there's definitely an energy here of your thought patterns definitely need to be faced and understood because everything becomes clear from there okay what do we have as a final message for leo yeah a hedgehog acceptance embrace who you are and the strength card is the courage to face fears and overcome them yeah Lovely energy, Leo. Uh, I hope that was helpful to some of you. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.